Bridge residents want changes after four people were shot over the weekend. Yeah, police say the fighting started at this house on San Fiddler Road. San Bridge Realty told us that a woman rented it. That is actually not the correct house right there. We're sorry for that. But a woman rented a house for her son's birthday. She told the manager that none of the people involved in the shooting were invited guests. Police arrested Jaquan Phillips of Newport News for shooting into a car with people inside. Now, he is not charged with shooting any of the four victims. Police are still looking for several other suspects. All of the victims are expected to recover. I went to Sandbridge and spoke with neighbors today who want to see more charges and changes. This is what Bill Lyons calls paradise. It's you, the birds, and neighbors, and flowers, and trees. And... But early Sunday, the sound of gunshots shook him to the core. When you have a place that you call home and you feel it's safe, that needs to be protected. And that was scary. Lyons wrote a letter to his Civic League and City Council. I want to see that, you know, at minimum, reckless endangerment. He says there were innocent people in nearly every house around this one who could have been hurt or worse, including Jerry Carter and his clan in town for a family celebration. One of the people that was shot came here and left blood. Well, there's blood spots here all over the floor. Lyons insists the rental companies should do more. We just don't know how that could have occurred. Ten on your side went to Sandbridge Realty, which rented the property, to ask about their policies. Manager Jim Moffitt told us renters must be at least 24 years old and present a valid ID, which they photocopy. He also said they only rent to families. And if there's any question... We're going to go into Facebook. We're going to go into MySpace. If the reservations feel... We're not quite sure who's on the other end of the phone. Moffat claims they also make rounds and drove by this house at 10 o'clock Saturday night. There were no red flags. Neighbors concur the party began after midnight. No one saw trouble coming. It's a very uh, rewarding place to live. Don't like to have it invaded by people who have another agenda. Uh, Moffat told me that he's already been in contact with the Civic League and they're all working on ways to make the community safer. I also contacted the area city council representative who said they will definitely look into it too.